Hey guys, welcome to RK Keynotes. In the previous playlist, we have discussed about servlets, right? And the current playlist is JSP. Now, why we are doing JSP? Uh, because JSP can, when compared to servlets, JSP can reduce the time of development of a particular project because we have lot many tags so that it will simplify the process for us. Getting it. So similarly, uh, we have seen in the previous video that is EL, expression language to reduce the you know line of code so by using the implicit objects you can directly use sessions you can directly call uh, cookies right so similarly we have the additional concept the custom tags called as jstl we call it as jsp standard tag library again this is a further going to simplify the jsp development it is you know a collection of uh, tags we can call it as set of tags so again it is going to help us in faster development we can i mean code reusability and this is the most important thing until now in the jsp code we have used scriptlet tag everywhere right within the scriptlet tag we used to write the lines of i mean number of lines uh, so now if you use jstl you don't need to use the scriptlet tag basically few developers used to say that using scriptlet tag is not a great idea fine so now we will see that we will explore in depth uh, these five types of tags. So there are core tags, function tags, formatting tags, XML tags, and SQL tags. So each tag has got a prefix. For core tag, the prefix is C, and then the function tag, the prefix is FN, and for formatting tags, the prefix is FMT, and for XML tags, the prefix is X, and for SQL tags, the prefix is SQL. Now, each of this uh, tags has got a URI, means a URL, which is to be referred uh, during the implementation of a particular tag. So that is http java.sun.com jsp jstl slash core. Now, you don't want to type this one. You have to just use a, a shortcut that control space so that it will display the um, available URLs for us. So from that, we can choose. All right. So that is what I'm going to uh, show you now. So first, uh, before that, let's consider this problem statement. In this particular video, I'm going to implement two uh, types of tags. That is, let's uh, do for core tags, and then we will implement function tags. So we know that core tag uh, prefix is C. You can see that C colon out, C set, C remove, and C import tags. Similarly, for function tags, we know that uh, the um, prefix is fn right so there you can see lowercase uppercase substring so all are related to strings basically string operations okay now let me show you uh, the entire tag list of core tags so here you can see that this is these are the tags available uh, under core tags so the prefix is c c colon out to display the results we use this and then c colon import to import uh, URL or you can import a package if you wish. Uh, so, uh, so we will be using this. Similarly, the rest of the tags like to remove a particular uh, you know value, you can use this remove tag. And then for each tag is available. This is the simplified for loop. Uh, similarly, we in the previous videos we have used this parameter right. And then to redirect, you can use the C colon redirect. All right. Now, uh, how are we gonna write a code for this? So you can see that again, uh, JSTL is, uh, they are all uh, again a custom tag. So we use this taglib uh, directive and then I'm using URI, uh, Uniform Resource Identifier. And then I'm saying this HTTP Java. Sound. So that is core tag. So I, I told you that you don't want to type this. I'll show you, uh, you know, how to get this particular thing easily. So the prefix should be mentioned that is C. Now you can see that inside this, uh, tag uh, c colon out the, the this is a simple printout statement right so inside that i'm using expression language el uh, in the previous video we have seen and then i'm just printing something that's it so this is how uh, we can use uh, jstl tags now let me uh, go to uh, the yeah for each tag you can see that how to implement for each tag um, so Again, the directive is same. Now, inside the body, you can see that C colon for each, and my variable name is J, and then uh, begin with one. I want to start with one and end with three. 
fine so i need to print this item so i'm saying item and inside that i'm saying c out value equal to in the expression tag and I'm, I'm printing this variable that is j now what happens this for each loop uh, does not require uh, you know in for loop we need to mention that three statements like i equal to zero i less than something and then i plus plus so here it is not required just directly you can put the variable and then you know uh, you can uh, you know you know increment it i mean you can iterate it so um, now the variable i have called inside this so it starts from one ends with three so three times it is going to you know loop so it will print along with that it is going to print the um, value also like item one and then for the second time it is going to print two and then three so this is how it is going to be so basically for each loop we use for iteration right it is a, a short form of uh, for loop okay fine so now i want to show you some uh, thing regarding function tags so these are all you know most of the tags are uh, for string manipulations in core java we have already discussed about many of the uh, string functions right string methods which we have used like two lower two upper substring trim and many other things so similarly most of the things are available like you know you can replace a particular character you can use length method to find the length of the string substring before and after and then lowercase uppercase split and trim is available and ends with and contains and there are many other uh, you know methods so again how to implement a function tags it is again same instead of core tags here you need to say a function and then we know that the prefix starts with uh, fn all right and if you want to mix up both the tags for example you want to use core tags and also function tags and also xml tags yes you can you know import all the tags uh, with a separate tag lib like this okay so that is okay now i have a string one uh, i love india and then i have a string two uh, now uh, in that i'm using expression uh, tag inside that i'm saying function tag i want to convert this uh, to to lowercase and then i'm passing the variable into that so that whatever is there inside this particular variable it will be converted into uh, lowercase and then here i'm printing it that's it the original and then conversion so the original one is i'm printing str1 and then the con the converted one is str2 so i mean string 2 so it will be printing in this way that's it so i'll be implementing these things which we have seen in the uh problem statement so i'm going to stick with this so my demonstration will be with that only so let me just uh open the project for you and this is for sql okay so let me open this and over here you can see that uh, i have two jsp files uh, i don't have html uh, file so definitely i would have used web.xml in that welcome file list this we know that because to start with so new jsp uh, will be the first file now you can see that by saying this you can say that uh, i'm using core tags so i was talking about some shortcut right for example what you can do is you have to say uri and then just press control space control button and space bar together so that it will you know generate this sort of thing so it will show show you all the uh, available urls under this uri means under this tag lib fine so uh, if you change the page uh, i mean uh, if you change the directive for example we know that there are three uh, page direct i mean three jsp directives right one is page directive and then include and then tag lib if i use page and then if i do the same thing it will it will list out all the direct i mean all the attributes for me fine so in this case i need to select core so if you do this it will generate automatically that's it so now we know that out tag c out it is used to just display uh, the value so whatever is there inside this el so it is going to get printed fine first let's run this and then we'll compare the output let me run the file okay now you can see that out tag it is just printing what i have uh, uh, you know kept inside that and uh, Let me just get back in a minute.
Okay, so let me just run this code for you. Uh, so the first statement is about the C out, fine. And then it is just printing this for us. Now I'm using core tag here to set a value. Now the variable name is income and then the scope is session and then the value uh, is something that I'm calculating here using expression tag like 4000 into 4 that is 16000 and I'm just going to use C out tag and then I'm printing the variable that is income. So in this case it is going to display us the value 16000 and then the next thing is uh, I'm performing the same thing like I'm setting something uh, using C colon set uh, tag and then the variable name is income scope is session value is something uh, like 5000 into 4 so 20000 it should print right uh, then I'm removing the value using C remove tag okay C colon remove so I'm saying remove this particular uh, value from this variable so I'm trying to print it so now it should not print right so you can see that it is calculating first and then it is printing the value and then while using that c colon remove tag it is just removing the value which is stored in the variable okay that's it now i'm using import tag c colon import and then the variable name is data and in this data uh what i'm performing is that i'm passing a url so that is it. you can write any url which you want and then uh, i'm printing the variable data so using c out so now it is just going to import all the backend code which uh you know um which was used in that particular website that's it so in this case i have used uh, google.com so this is how uh, core tag works now we have created a hyperlink right so we have created a hyperlink to go to function tags function tag.jsp that is over here okay now let me click on that hyperlink it, it goes there so in the first statement it is converting everything to lowercase now how we have implemented it let's check it out so the first thing is uh using two uh tag libs that is for core tag and the function tag we know the prefix right core tag starts with c function tag is for fn now the first thing is that i need to or set a value using core tag so i have a variable that is string and this is the value which i'm you know passing to the variable so what i'm saying is that fn tool over hello and then it should it should convert even this hello as a lower case and then along with that it should print uh, the string this the value which is stored inside this variable to be in lower case right so that it is displaying the rest of the code for us is that clear yeah and the second one the second one is about uppercase again i'm setting the same similar thing and then i'm passing the same thing and then here i'm just changing the method name as to uppercase that's it so now it is everything it should be converted into uppercase there you can see that all right now the next one is substring and then uh, I have a similar variable and then the value is different here and then I'm saying function fn colon substring and then for this particular variable I want to display uh, you know from uh, starting from fifth position to 17th position these values should be displayed in between right so it is starting from ease and then it is displaying up to first right so that is substring so similarly I want to do uh, uh, you know replacement of uh, i want to replace a particular part of uh, string so i have two variables author string and the author name is ramesh kumar and the string is something like this so now i want to replace the author name ramesh as suresh and then i want to replace again the string that means this variable so i want to replace pqr as hello so the result you can see that it is replaced this one is hello and this is suresh so this is how uh, function tags and core tags can be implemented and uh, try this one and then uh, let me know if you have got any queries in the comment section so that i'll help you out uh, if you like the video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel
in the next video uh, i'll talk about uh, the rest of the tags um stay tuned thank you and thanks for watching the video